me sing. Let me sing. Let me sing. One hundred thousand. Let me sing. To another edition of Science Geek. Let me sing. Science Geek. Have you ever wondered how groups of forces play such an important part in our everyday lives? Me neither. Ah, but today, we're going to investigate that anyway in today's episode of Science Geeks. May the force be with you. In everyday life, forces act on us all the time, even if sometimes we don't realise it. Gravity is an excellent example of this. It's always trying to pull us down to the centre of the Earth. We don't really notice it, well, unless we fall, and it makes us speed up, accelerate in other words. Well, until we hit the ground anyway. Forces are definitely required to make an object stop. Here's a typical example. Andrew! Look, a cheese roll! Cheese roll! Cheese roll! Although one could argue that it was Andrew's love of cheese rolls that nearly killed him, it was in fact the reaction force of the wall that caused him to decelerate rapidly. We also have forces acting on us when we move at a constant speed. On your marks. Get set. Go. We even have forces acting on us when we're not moving. The force of gravity is trying to pull him towards the centre of the earth, but the reaction force from the ground is preventing it. Today, we're going to investigate how pairs of forces affect an object and its motion. Meet Team A. <coughs> and their opponents, Team B. <coughs> Today, in Geek Challenge, my band of genetically engineered science geeks are competing in a tug of war competition. <coughs> Each team is exerting a tension force in the rope. These forces are acting in opposite directions. Look at the pictures. Which team do you think is exerting the greatest tension force? Team A or Team B? That's right boys and girls, it's Team A. They're exerting the largest force. The forces are unbalanced. They're causing Team B to accelerate towards the right hand side of the TV picture. What about this situation though? Neither team seems to be moving. That's because the forces are balanced. The tensions in the rope are equal in size but opposite in direction to each other. They cancel each other out so neither team moves. And if I remove one of those tensions, then the forces no longer cancel each other out. Because you no longer cancel each other out, then both objects accelerate. Now let's apply those ideas to another situation. And here we can see my gene splice science geeks. Thank you. Uh, as I was saying, my science geeks are playing tug of war with a tree. The tree is exerting attention in the rope, as are my geeks. How do you think the forces compare? I think the tree exerts a bigger force. I think the geeks are exerting a bigger force. I think that the tree is exerting the same force as we are. I like cheese rolls. <laughs> what do you think? You've got ten seconds to answer. Answer C is correct. The tree and the geeks are exerting exactly the same force. We know this because the tree isn't moving, so the forces must be balanced. And so, in summary... In summary... If an object is not moving, the forces acting on it are balanced.
So, remember folks, if something isn't moving, it means the forces are balanced. However, if something is accelerating, then what it means is... Ah! <laughs> Come, here, little. Come here, you little... Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! No! Come here! Come, come back! No! Ah! Right! <laughs> Why are you? Get out! 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 Get out